Hi, I'm James O'Berry, and I'm an illustrator for the Warriors comic series, and today I'll be drawing Leaf Star. So Leaf Star, again, I'm going to start off with a circle shape, but since I know I'm drawing Leaf Star, I'm going to make it a little bit more oval because she has a longer face and more angular than, say, Ravenpaw or Firestar. She also has really tall ears. And I did that because Sky Clan, they're the cats that like to jump and leap. And so I was kind of playing off the idea of sort of longer ears like a rabbit. She has a pointed chin instead of a square shape. Outline of Leaf Star's face. And again, we have the circle for the muzzle. So I'm going to draw some lines that come forward. She has a thinner neck than, say, Firestar. All right, so we have the basic uh, shape of a cat, of a cat's face. So now I'm going to start adding the details that turn this into Leaf Star. So she has some brown markings on her face um, that go around her eyes, sort of like a little mask. But I wanted there to be a leaf shape on her forehead, so that's what the white part is sort of a leaf shape created by the mask. And it goes around her muzzle. So Leaf Star also um, has some dark lines around her eyes, sort of look like eyelashes. Obviously cats don't really have eyelashes like humans do, but I'm playing around uh, with her features to make her more expressive. Okay, and I'm gonna add some detail to the nose. And being clan leader, she has to be pretty serious and responsible at all times. So I'm gonna give her a serious expression. Leafstar also has three lines above her eye on the fur, on the brown part of the fur, and three lines below. All right, so we have our basic sketch of Leafstar. From there, I'm going to go over it with a pen and refine my details. All right, so I'm going around the outline of the head first, a little bit of uh, fur on the cheeks, and we have that pointed chin I mentioned earlier. Make her look different than some of the other cats that have more squared off chins. She's got a pointed chin. Okay, so let's do the eyes. Again, she has um, sort of some black markings around her eyes that sort of look like eyelashes. And a line that comes forward towards the nose, coming from the corner of the eyes. And then some lines for her mouth. Again, we're gonna give her sort of a serious expression. All right, so I have the main features of Leaf Star drawn in. And I'm going to go back with a thicker brush pen and go around the outline of her head. Sort of smooth things out a bit. Sort of indicate some shadow underneath her chin. And fill in her eyes a little bit more. Heavy lines around her eyes. Just sort of almond shaped eyes that turn up. And then she has a black nose as well. So I'm gonna color that in real quick. So now it's time to add the detail of the mask around her face. So I'll use my thinnest pen to do that. You could use any sort of pen. I use little dashed lines. Mm -hmm. 
And again, I'm trying to emphasize that leaf shape in the middle of her head. So in the book, she was described as cream with brown markings. So it's sort of up to me to figure out what those brown markings were. And since her name is Leaf Star, I wanted to, um, you know, sort of reference that with the leaf shape. It's subtle, but um, some people might notice it. And then I use a few more dashes across the bridge of her nose to show that the muzzle is coming forward. Some dashed lines for the stripes on her little mask. So let's erase our pencil sketch and then we can clean anything else up, add any more details. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to put in some shadows here on her ear. Clean up the lines around her eyes a bit. Try to even that out. And then we have some tufts of fur in her ears. And last but not least, we have the whiskers. And there we have a drawing of Leaf Star.